Okay, we've got a few other people who'd like to say a few memories of Tom God. Hello, my name is Steve Heisenberg. I've known Tom God for a lifetime. My first day of teaching at Community High School, uh, the dean at the time was Connie Kraft, and she said, You two guys are wearing the same kind of shoes. Tom, why don't you be his mentor? And life never changed. Uh, Tom allowed all of us, all community, to push the envelope. Tom's ability to extend beyond the classroom to be creative was infectious to all of us, which helped all of us to actually become what we were at Community High School, or all creative, involved, loving teachers, because Tom mentored all of us. Uh, Tom did so many things in his lifetime to help us as students with all his students, even colleagues of his. Uh, I remember Tom being, I've known Tom 30 some years, and all we can say is he is a genius. We are fortunate enough to be in the presence of a creative, brilliant genius who made all of us feel as if we were the special one in his life. He loved us all, treated us all like right. we were that special person, and when we were with him, we all felt so proud to be in his company. But we all owe Betty and Greg a special thanks for without their understanding of Tom and allowing Tom to be who he was, none of us would have had the opportunity to grow with Tom and to enjoy him. So Betty, Greg, thank you for sharing him with us, allowing him to be part of our lives. One of the things about Tom I will always remember was the first day he met my wife, he came up and his favorite wife had always been to walk up to a woman, put his arms around her, give her a hug and a kiss and say, you probably don't remember me. <laughs> well, when he did that to my wife, he didn't know her career, so she stepped back and said, did I know you as a woman? I've never seen Tom speechless. My wife works with the speech pathologist in the transgender program that we go down. And she doesn't see him after they go through the, the, the change. But Tom just stood there speechless while Benny and I just about died laughing. So it was that time. So if you don't know the person next to you, turn around, give them a hug, and a kiss, and say, you probably don't know me, but I am I also want to make sure we recognize Carol Clare, who was helpful in setting up this event today. And Carol McKeever, who put together the photo montage. Uh, of course, does everyone else would like to come up and say anything about Tom Dodge? Anybody? Picture of us. Hi, y'all. I'm Libby on from 89.1. And I have to tell you that it's so hard when you move to this area, say in 1987, and you're new, and nobody trusts you, and they think, like, well, how can you minister to us? How can you, from somewhere else, wherever the hell that is, be part of us? And one of the first people to look at me deep in the eyes, and I mean deep eye contact, my man, it's Tom Dodd. Tom Dodd knew that, gosh, I wasn't some damn interloper, but I was here. I felt like I was home, and Tom made that happen. So I'm part of that whole Depot Town, Riverside Art Center, Frog Island, all those crazy ass festivals down here. My husband and I, Bill Lubetsky, 
who's not going to get up and talk because he's shy. That's okay. Own the building next door, which is called Bird Brain now, which is also now owned by Lyndon French. But we wouldn't have done that, and we would not have undertaken such an enterprise and we're not for Tom and Becky Dodd saying, gosh, Depot Town is so cool. So we did that trip. And like Tom and Betty, we decided we gotta move on. And so we're cool. We're cool out there in the township. Like and Tom and Betty, you know, they're cool out there on the lake. Tom, and Carolyn, and Gary, and Betty, and Linda did so much for us here. The final thing I just want to say is that in a very Tom Dodd kind of thing, how many of you had a name that maybe Tom Dodd gave you? Did he give you a special name? Did he let come up with something special to call you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would do that. And you feel loved when someone gives you a name. And Tom Dodd gave me a name when I met him in 19... 91, maybe thereabouts, for talks about the Riverside Art Center, called me Linda Lou. And from there on, in Tom Dodd's eyes and Betty's eyes, who invited us over dinner for many times, I'm Linda Lou. And I'm Linda Lou telling you, let's keep that Tom Dodd love going. Condolences, like so many others have told you, I'm sure, um, have a profound influence on me. I so admire his humor, his prolific and creative spirit, and very much like to be a lot more like him. I met Tom decades ago when he asked the board of our community theater group, the Ypsilanti Players, to do a meeting in a caboose of all places, and presented us with an intriguing concept. He had put together a musical review saluting Ypsilanti's built environment. He called it Foundations, and he wanted us to produce it. Up until then, we have been doing their standard, predictable community theater fair, Neil Simon, melodramas and the like. But we were an adventurous group, and Tom's enthusiasm was so cheerfully contagious that we happily went along for a ride, and what a ride it was. Of course, he wanted to bring the show to his beloved Depot Town neighborhood, and Foundations was, report, was performed across the street, kitty corner from her here, at the Eagles Upstairs Hall. Almost exactly 12, excuse me, almost exactly 32 years ago. I really liked his song, Depot Town Rag, and asked him if I could sing it with him, and was delighted when he agreed. Foundations was a boring success. In fact, the show was so nice, we did it twice and prevent, presented the revival of it for that summer's heritage festival. That's a